hope you're enjoying your Tuesday. Welcome to Home and Family. Weather is chilly outside. Right. That is the understatement. Everybody knows that. It's stretching all across the country. You see so many images coming in. Just I know, frostbite that's beautiful. there. Beautiful. I hope you're staying inside. I hope you're cuddling up on that couch and staying nice and cozy, taking in, oh, I don't know, maybe a Hallmark movie or two. What or 10, think? maybe. Or 10. Page Emma's. <laughs> all month long, Hallmark Channel is celebrating the winter season with new movies every Saturday night. Premiering this weekend is our Winterfest movie, Frozen in Love. I'm so excited for this one, starring Rachel E. Cook and Niall Mader. Yeah. And speaking of warming up, I am making a delicious sweet potato bisque today that's going to warm everybody's Ooh. bellies. Look at that. You can make it tonight. It's so quick to whip up. Or you can make it on Saturday while you're watching your Ooh, Winterfest movies. That sounds delish. It, it is. I love sweet potatoes, by the way. They're very good for you, Yes, too. they Beta are. Carotene. I made some last night, actually. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. Oh, I mean, look at the you. boys the wanted the potatoes. I like the The, the skins? Yeah. I like those. They're delicious. Enough about me. I'll tell you about Lawrence. Uh, uh, if you dare to go outside, Lawrence is here. He has some wonderful, flattering winter fashions for you, right, Lawrence? Well, speaking of delicious, <laughs> you're welcome. All right, yes, that's right. It is a new year and a new you. And today I'm showing all my curvy girls. You know what? I'm showing all my lovely ladies what's on trend and to get them in step for a brand new year. Beautiful, as you always do, Lawrence. And our very good friend who we love when he's in the house, actor Ed Begley Jr. is here and he's going to talk to us about his new series, Future Man, and how as an environmental activist, he is going to save us hundreds and hundreds of dollars on our electric bill, I'm on our I'm slowly gas. turning into this man because I already have one. Yeah, one of work. the devices he's here talking about, I was so excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm taking his knowledge and I'm actually putting it It really is. And it works. It, totally it really, works. it really works. Uh, speaking of saving our planet, Kim Douglas is here. <laughs> She's taking a page right out of Ed's book today, right, Kim? That's right, Mark. And like you said, you're turning into this man. I'm turning into this man, too. <laughs> we love Ed. That's okay, right? I can turn into him. Um, we love Ed, and he's doing his part to save the planet. And so I decided to do my part to save the beauty world. And I've created some really great eco-friendly products, including the shampoo and my hair has never looked back. <laughs> I got wow. dizzy. Wow. It looks like you just stepped out of a salon. Well, I want to be Ed Begley Jr. too. I think we all want to be him today, <laughs> including Paige. Listen, there's nothing we love more than hearing from all of our wonderful viewers, and Paige is standing by at our mailbox this wall. This is so exciting. I love she this, because even after Christmas, we get to open presents, which are letters from you guys. Okay. Little birds. This card is from Ruth Shellswell in Midland, Michigan. She says, hi Paige, earlier this year you made a guitar shelf from an old guitar. I was inspired by you to make a similar one for a guitarist friend of ours. Oh, all your projects are brilliant. Oh, all your projects are brilliant. Thank you. I swear I didn't write this to myself. Uh, <laughs> you've, inspired, you've inspired all of us over the years. Happy New Year to everyone at home and family. Thank you so much oh. and the job you did may I say, is absolutely gorgeous. That really is beautiful. Oh, wow. So That's beautiful, great right? great job, Ruth. Yes. My goodness. Aw, so good job, Ruth. Yeah. Good job. And if you guys would like to send us a letter for our mailbox wall, please send it to the address below or go to our Facebook page, the old-fashioned way, like Mark always says. And Paigey, you actually have another musical, musically-inspired DIY for us today, don't you? That's right. Ruth, you might pay attention to this one as well. Oh. I am making angel wings out of sheet music. So, And I have a little special connection to music. And you'll find out why if you don't know already. But come oh. on back and you'll see that. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. 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 Thank you. Our pet rescue expert Larissa is here today. She's a furry friend with her looking for a forever home. Hi, Larissa. He might not be looking for a forever home anymore because I might take him. <laughs> <laughs> like I need another dog, Oops, right? Done it again. <laughs> <laughs> this is Yo-Yo, but I've been calling him Yoda Bear because he looks like little Yoda and he looks like oh a bear. Gosh, Look at that. Like... He's like a forever puppy face. He is three years old though, and he is a terrier mix, and he was actually rescued from China. He was part of the uh, unfortunate at Yulin Dog Meat Festival that they do every June. And instead of his uh, fate being negative, it is very positive because he's back here now looking for a forever home. He's very affectionate. He's very gentle. If you see him taking a treat from my hand just now in that video, he's so gentle and he likes to be rocked like a little baby. And he's full grown. He's only about, I would say, 15 pounds. So he's great for an apartment or a house. He doesn't have a ton of crazy energy, so he'd be a good... Um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Companion dog. <laughs> and it's like, wait, what was that Words word? are hard. You know that. Uh, word. <laughs> and um, yeah, the only thing we'd say is maybe young, young kids wouldn't be good just because he's a little skittish. He's kind of coming out of his shell and learning to trust again. But he can be found at animalhopeandwellness.org oh here in LA. And they are one of the many rescues and shelters that we've teamed up with to get all these wonderful animal home, animals homes. And it's all part of Hallmark Channel's pet project. Oh, thank you, Larissa, yeah. and thank you, Yo-Yo. Look, he's yeah. so sweet. He's so sweet. That little face, oh, look at him, my God. God. I know. I know. Oh, 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 he's oh, getting gosh. sleepy. Oh, oh what a chill doggy. Thank you, Larissa. He's so sweet. You are so sweet, too, Maria. You are sweet. And you're going to make us sweet. sweet with what you're about to make us. Since the Hallmark Channel is celebrating the season with new movies every Saturday night, we are in the kitchen with Maria, who is making us a delicious winter wonderland cake, which is Yay! perfect dessert. To pair with the weekend premiere. This is beautiful. Also joining us, Ed Begley Jr., who we all want to be. We want to be. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to talk to us a little bit later about Future Man and about saving us hundreds of dollars, which we're yep. all very excited about. Always but before that. we do that, we're going to feed your bellies. Yum. You guys have your Can we go in? Go dig in. in. Thank you, Marie. Right, Yay. So <laughs> How did you come up with this? Well, you know, my, my mother-in-law's birthday is next week, and my sister-in-law's birthday is this week. So happy uh -uh. birthday. Um, but you know what? After after Christmas, it's still, you know, the wintry season. So I thought it'd be fun. I always make them cakes. Oh, I, you do? Well, you now my sister-in-law lives on the East Coast. So when she was here, I would make her a cake. But now it's for my mother-in-law. And I... I just, I'm always trying to get creative. And so this was my, my uh, yes, brain child this year. You've done a great year. job. This and I wanted to come up with a good buttercream, chocolate buttercream recipe because I make just a regular vanilla buttercream. Yeah. And uh, we, I went all out with this. This is like double chocolate. You are going, I mean, okay. I could swim oh, wow. in it. Let's, let's get started. started. This looks great. Okay, so in here, we have butter, powdered sugar, um, a little bit. I like using half and half. You can use mm, use half um, and half. Yeah, you can. If use, you're gonna do it, if you're gonna do it, do it. Do just it. do it. Yeah. I mean, you're I'm not gonna eat the whole cake but yourself. But I also feel like I like oh, well, that. Well, you know, maybe. Um, but uh, I like the consistency it gives as well. Yeah. So and then a little bit of cocoa powder, and I like using Dutch processed cocoa powder if you can find it because okay. it's a little bit of a smoother flavor right. since you're not baking with it. But the regular um, cocoa powder that you find in stores will work too. So then we just kind of. No, there you go. That's well. Man down. Oh, you know what we do? We plug it. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a minute. Only on Home and Family. Come on. Yeah, we Stand by. Uh, okay. Well, I could have helped. By the way, that's <laughs> that anyway. right there. All right. That's Back uh, in Ed's number one tip on how to yeah. save money. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Turn everything off. Turn everything off. Yeah. Okay. So I'm adding a little bit of vanilla. True. Unplug. And then, so like I said, I added the the um, chocolate, the cocoa powder. But and you just added I'm vanilla. That's actually, it. Yes. Yeah, so then, when it gets a little bit smoother and a little bit of the milk too, I actually add melted chocolate. Now you can use the what? chocolate chips, but I like finding the bars and melt it down. It looks just like that and you want it to cool. Okay. If it's too warm, it's gonna melt the butter. And then we'll just pour it in. You want me to do it? This side, oh, there you go. Oh, amazing. And Man, then this is so good. This, yeah. Thank you, it like makes it really fudgy. Fluffy, oh. really rich chocolate. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank like, you, that's what I'm like going for. By the way, that's coming from the pregnant lady. She might be, you know, a little bit. <laughs> That's right. A little bit lean, we get more understanding. Yeah. We're no. eager. Yeah. And, then then no. and then I'm just adding a little bit more. <laughs> so until you get want the consistency. Okay. The, and this is actually coming together really, really easy. And okay. you want the consistency to be spreadable. So we have a little swap out. But I will tell you this. Here. I do know a thing or two about buttercream. I've made one or two in my day, mm -hmm. and it will harden real quick. It will if harden you quickly. Yes. Yeah, so what you want to do is you want to do. Um, a, so these are. I did four layers. So we're doing a tree stump. So I wanted to do a thin oh, layer. Yeah. That's so what it is. that is, is that what it is. <laughs> oh, isn't that cool? <laughs> so they're the giving tree, and the more you eat it, the more it gives. I love it. <laughs> so there's four layers. <laughs> yeah, there's there's six inch rounds, and there's four layers in there. So um, icing in between each layer, and then do your crumb coat. So what that means, um, Kim, if you didn't know, I did. The, the crumb coat is just yeah. um, a layer of frosting. Put it in the fridge, oh. and that keeps all the crumbs on the cake. And then that's what we have now. Okay. So we have um, a lovely layer outside. And then you take your buttercream. So oh. you want to work because now we're gonna do we're gonna do the chocolate Gosh, afterwards. I feel like we should use this one. Oh, I know. It's so it's good. oh yeah. <laughs> good girl. Oh my gosh, that's so yeah. good. So what we want to do for the top, kind of to make it look like a tree, you know, a little like tree, tree bark. Stump. 
Okay. And then we're gonna just spin along here. Okay, to beautiful. kind of create And that I also sort of like, like that you've done six inch rounds and not a, a yeah. big one. Yeah, and you know, you can find those at the craft supply store. They usually have the, um, don't worry, if you don't have this thing at home, sorry, I totally just lazy like, Susan. Lazy, totally was like shiny objects and went to something else. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, if you don't have this, honestly, I don't at home, I just swirl it around. But that's, and don't worry about the sides because we're covering them. But I wanna, so, can you get a shot of that? Can you see on top how it looks like a tree stump now, like it's been cut? Yeah. See? Oh, beautiful. That okay, is. and then the sides are okay. freshly um, frosted. Iced, okay. Frosted, so you want to work like quickly in terms of that because it will harden up and make sure you just, you know, add it. Right. Gonna, this recipe is going to be um, on our website. So, okay, so we're going to set that aside. Wait, now we're going to make the bark. The recipe the, for the frosting? For the frosting, yes. Okay. We'll be online. So but you don't could just worry. buy store bought. Yeah. You well. could, but you know what? Wow, like wow. No, no, no. It's I'm good. Not here to judge no, I'm just shamed no all of a sudden. Frosting cake. <laughs> no, you know what? I feel like it doesn't adhere as well, the chocolate as well, which is the, the biggest part. But you know what? If you don't have time or, you know, you start, yeah. that's where, yeah, you can definitely. Okay, okay. I'm not You could do you it. I don't think it will taste as. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Something about store bought frosting, yeah. again, I love it too. I'm with yeah. you. Yes. But something about it has an aftertaste in your mouth that tastes like a. Um, Ick. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> a little. Ick. Something's a in there. Plasticky. Yes. A little no, plasticky. Yes. Thank you. Yes. And this so, does not taste like that at all. No. And um, so and to do this, the uh, the birch tree bark that goes alongside to give us the wonderful winter wonderland look. Uh -huh. This is wax paper that I put on a uh, just a, a cookie sheet. Okay. And then all I do, this is candy coating chocolate. I work with this a lot on the show because it's, it's really the round. It hardens up. Yeah. So you can exactly. just put it in the microwave you or can, do a double. Yep, exactly. Boiler. You can do. Exactly, okay. and then um, you can get it at the craft supply store, and uh, so you melt it down, and what I'm doing is just, I'm drawing the lines that you would see on a birch tree, and they don't have to be perfect, you don't want them to be perfect, Right. and you just kind of keep going like that, and then. Now this is also the So this the is also, and you can do a little bit more, but just for the sake of, you know, giving you guys the visual. So this is um, the white. Now go with bright white. I got just like a plain and I didn't like it and I had to redo everything Again. and that's the bright white it's right beautiful. there. And it just like is a great contrast to the to the brown. Okay. And by the way, it comes in lots of colors if you want it to get does. creative and it do it. It does. I actually I things. use this a lot and if you know so then you need pour to this the brown on. harden at all or you can just add you know it what? right away. Thank you. It um it actually hardens yeah. pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah. But if you if you know it's like it's cold out right now, so it'll harden pretty quickly. It's already hardened. You can yeah. see it. Yeah, but you can put it, pop it in the um, refrigerator. Okay. And so what I'm doing is I'm spreading it out. So something to keep in mind is when um, the the height that you're doing, mm -hmm. um, you want the this to be able to cover the side. So you know uh -huh. you can use a ruler to measure how high. That's why you want to do your cake first and know how to high see, it's going to okay. be. What if it's too thin? Because when you fr freeze it, it's going to. Exactly. If it's too thin, and uh, to be honest with you, I did I when I was testing this out, yeah. I made it too thick. And oh. um, there's such thing. Yeah, you can actually too thick was made it too hard to break. Wow. And then yes, yeah, so we pop it in the fridge and the one For on how top long? until it hardens up. It only takes like maybe ten minutes. Okay. Um, so Other parts too, of the country just set it outside. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you really could. You really could. But um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. And yeah. so you um, can break it up. Uh, when, when if it's too thick, it won't break as nicely. And if it's too thin, it could shatter. So it really is just here. I'm actually so gonna just do oh. make this simple. Oh, Look that's at that. great. That. Look at that's that. beautiful. Wow. wow. Oh, wow. Marie, I love that. Wow. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Oh, wow. And I then we just break it in, in sections. Okay. So, yes, and then what you can do is, actually, I'm going to do it this way so oh, I don't be have scared. To. Oh, oh, you did it. <laughs> <laughs> what? And Woo. then you take your cake and you kind of see, like, you know, I made it a little bit longer so I could, I, it was okay. forgiving. So, so there's that. And then just kind of do this. Because you want to hide the cake. Yeah, yeah. And I kind of wanted it to come a little bit over the top. And because we just frosted it, mm. it yes. will stick. And if it doesn't, you just add more frosting. Oh my gosh. And you want it to look slightly unfinished. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just like nature. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I love this. So that's the that's the whole idea there. And then you just keep going until you've you covered keep it. Going until it's covered. And then I've noticed that you've also one of your other favorite things to use is this little snow you use in all of your projects. I use, you know. It's there. You can never have enough snow. I'm having my Michigan withdrawals, right, Ken? Oh. This time of year, I miss being in Michigan. So I'm like, I just add snow to everything. But yeah, to, so you can. Everything is on sale right now at the craft supply oh, right. store for like the little, you know, Gosh. village areas. And so you can actually just get some and decorate the whole little like scene. All right. You guys like the chocolate? So good. Okay. It's delicious. I really, I, 
I mean, I'm kind of a you know what? I feel like, should we put a little bit more ice? Yes. Thing? Of course. I feel like our bark you is know sticking. <laughs> the bark is sticking, sticking to mine. You should so load up on the more. calories. You know why? Why is that? Because when we come back, Ooh. Allie, later on in the show, is whipping us into shape with some of oh, our favorite right. apps. Yes, oh my gosh. After eating this, I'm going to need to work out a little bit. It was that good. Um, but yes, I'm going to show you how you can work out in the comfort of your home and make it easy so you won't be able to say that you're too busy to do it because it's so and simple to do. The yes. best frosting I've ever eaten in my yes. life. Yes. Plus, Lauren Mack is bringing the winter indoors with an icy DIY. Hey, Lauren. That's right, you guys. I'm going to show you how to take a regular old mirror and give it a winter makeover with some DIY icicles. And all you need is a whole heck of a lot of hot glue and a little bit of spray paint. That's beautiful. All right. <laughs> and then, since we had dessert, we got need to have something healthy and tasty, a nice little treat, maybe. Coming up a little bit later on, back in the kitchen we go. Chicken lettuce cups with grilled pineapple, mint, and lime. Yeah. Uh -uh. Me. And Ed, we are really looking forward to hearing about your new show, Future Man. Right. But before we do that, you're headed uh, into a segment with Kim, and you're going to help us save the planet. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Um. So, Ed, you know what? You're helping to save the world, and oh I'm helping to save the beauty world. So we're almost the same person. We can meet <laughs> yeah, we are. Very and we'll show you. Separated apart. Literally.